This is going to be a review of the UVEX by Honeywell safety eyewear. These are supposed to be UV protection glasses, that's why I bought them. We have some lens cleaning instructions and how to open up the box. There we go, UV. That's really why I want them. I guess that's uh, what UVEX is, UV. Whoops! Okay, so... I always say in my videos, if you want to do a thumbs up, a subscribe, or a like, that would help me out. If you want to leave a donation to my PayPal to help my channel, that would be awesome. If you get a product you want me to review, let me know. If I can, I will. Um, and if you want to link this to any other website, that would be awesome. So, we've got some UV glasses over here. And... I did a review of the ones that I just uh, showed you the case, and then I've got these over here, the UVEX. And so, oh, well, that doesn't look good. Is it broken? Okay, that's not the way a review video is supposed to start. Uh, let me go get these t put together, and I will continue the video. All right, what can I say? Um, they look nice. They definitely look nice. And so why did I buy these things? Check out my channel. There's another uh, review I did. And I'm going to open up these other glasses now. Which are nice glasses. They work. So let's look at the two glasses. These are iLumen that I did a review of, and they work. And these are the Honeywell. Why can't I use the iLumen? Because they've got this massive nose bridge, nose piece here. I don't know why, well, it's probably because they're smaller, so they need it for strength of the glasses. That's got to be why. So, massive nose bridge, and if you wear glasses, you can't really wear these things because they are going to be about an inch away from your face, an well, inch away from your eyes, because this thing is pressing up against your glasses. So, not that these are bad glasses. If you don't wear glasses, then these would be fine. These would fit right up against your face and your nose, and they are very nice for UV protection. But I do wear glasses, so I'm kind of out the money buying these things. And I went out and I bought the Honeywell, the Uvex. Very limited nose bridge compared to this. This has got some vented space for, I don't know why you'd need that for air, but this doesn't have that because this does not have the wrap around and the Honeywell does. Um, this goes straight out, and the Honeywell goes behind the ears. They both have holes in the, uh, what do you call these things, the temple pieces? I don't know, holes so that you can put a string on there. Um, obviously, this is much bigger, substantially bigger. This goes right down, this probably goes down partially below the eye and this goes down towards the cheek. Again, the reason I bought it is because of the nose bridge. And this has got a little breathing hole. I don't know why. And this has got a massive breathing area. So, size-wise, there's a huge difference. If you just need mild protection and you wear glasses, I mean, if you if you don't wear glasses and you need mild protection, I would get these. But if you wear glasses, I would definitely get the Honeywell. So I'm not going to put my I'm not going to I'm going to put these on right now and give you my opinion. You don't have to see it going on my face, but I'm going to pop on the Honeywells right now. And while I'm popping that on, make sure you head on over to. Uh, do that subscribe or thumbs up or whatever you want to do. All right, so I'm putting these things on now over my glass. Oh, yes. Okay, I always make a, 
an inflection with the sound of my voice. These are really cool. These are very nice. Can I, well, I won't be able to see if I take off the glasses. Okay, so let's see. I'm going to, I mean, the problem for people like me that wear glasses is this is, these are going to scratch your lenses no matter what. I wear sun, over the, over the glasses, sunglasses, and they scratch the heck out of the lenses. So that's just the thing you have to deal with when you wear glasses. But you can see you're going to get a nice fit and you're going to be able to wear these. So these are going to be the glasses that I'm going to wear. The, uh, the one that I just showed you a minute ago, I'm not going to be able to wear because I really don't get good enough uh, coverage on the face because of that massive nose piece, which I mentioned in the video. I don't know why they did this. I just, I really don't. Not that it's a bad product. I'm not saying that. This uh, also appears to have more out of an amber. I don't know if they have the same uh, UV protection or not. This looks a little clearer. This looks a little more darker. Um, now I'm going to put these on over the, uh, the glasses I have now. And this is what I end up getting. So it's not even the nose piece. I guess I can survive with the nose piece. It's the narrowness of the the glasses that, so you can see, I've got these glasses on. These other things are going to be a cup, an inch and a half away from my face. And that's ridiculous. So that's going to be my review of the UVEX by Honeywell Inspiring Safety. What's the model number on this thing? Because I, I'm really happy I bought these. Um, let's get a model number for anybody. I bought them on the, well, you know where I buy all my stuff. Um, PBX-101-UV-1-REV-F. I'll put the description uh, in the description section of the video. But I think that's all... Uh, you need, you should be able to find these. They're very inexpensive. And why did I buy this? Let me reach over here without knocking over the tripod. Oh, okay. Why did I buy it? Check out my video. I just did a review of this Ven. I think it's Ven. Ven UV light that I bought. And I bought this mainly to try to see urine from, from mice. My mom's got some mice at her house because the neighbor moved out and they were kicked out of there and there are mice and rats all over the house. So uh, they went all over the neighborhood. So I bought this to see if I could see some uh, rodent deposits. And we really don't have that bad of a rodent problem. I've caught most of them. Check out my videos. I've put some uh, m uh, mice trap uh, videos on there. Kind of boring, but I'm going to be posting another one soon. And so it's got this nice little UV light. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, there it is. Real cool light. I'm very happy with it. So uh, one last thing I want to do before I finish off the video, just to make this a real fair video. Um, <laughs> okay, I've got these iLumen glasses on, and again, it's just ridiculous that they're an inch and a half away, or whatever it is. Let's shut off the light. Uh, I'm going to shine it towards my eyes, which I shouldn't be doing, but I've got the UV light on. Kind of strong. Um, now let me take off the these and put on the Honeywells and see what the difference is. Whoa. Uh, really interesting with the, uh, the Honeywell, the light that I'm looking at is brighter, much brighter. But they are UV protection, so I'm assuming that these uh, Honeywells are cutting out the UV range, but they are allowing the other range of light to come in. So, um, again, if you don't wear glasses, maybe you want to get the iLumens. And if you do wear glasses, I would definitely go with the Honeywell. Now I'm going to go pop these things on and try to find uh, lots of stains all over the floor. Hey, thanks for watching my video.
trying to get a nice professional picture without the light reflection. Not going to work. That's why I bought some uh, lighting. It's going to be coming here on Wednesday, and then I'll do a video on video lighting for under 100 bucks.